Hello YouTube. Okay, today I have um, a little bit of experience with a window 10 theme that I want to show and share with you because um, uh, I know that uh, default window 10 theme is really good but uh, when you want to try a new experience and you may feel want to try a new theme too. So today I will show you how to achieve this theme look so it, it will show you like this i try to open news and here what you are going to achieve when after installing the sim so you get this icon pack and this new test bar new start bar sorry it's a new start bar for you and i think it's look uh, kind of good and Especially it's, it's, it's new steam and you can try some new experience about it. I think and you feel different of using Windows systems and now you want to see it. So let's get started on how to install it. So um, you will need four files to do in this. Um, so here I opened it and you can find this fourth link in the description. So go and check it. And the first one that you need to find is called, um, I don't know how to spell it, maybe OBLIQ DAX VS10, maybe it's for Windows 10, and you just click on it and download it. So as I don't it already, so I don't need to download it. And make sure that where you keep your download file. So um, this theme, and you can just install this theme and you maybe have beautiful look too but as mentioned in this theme um, they use a vertex icon pack so you need to download a icon pack to look the same so just download it so here is the download link so I full screen here is the download link for you and what is that is back plus 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 so uh, you need uh, to download a free trail but this is optional if you just it just uh, make your start bars look like this look like um, Windows 7 maybe yeah it a change from a uh, window 10 start bar and make it look like this so if you want it just click on free trail and go go for it so this is a very important file for you if you are on a window 10 latest update and it's called ultra UX team patcher so just uh, when you open open this link and just click over here to download and choose direct download so just download and when you see this and you can fill the form but here is no saying continue to download so just click on it and prompt you to the download link and as i download it already so if you download this file already as dimension so now get start on how to install it so I just close this and here is our file that we are downloads. It's four file and this optional is just an icon pack that I download from the internet. So the first thing you need to do is you install the Ultra UX Team Patcher. So, so just click on it and click on extract here. Okay. Here. So just double click on it and run it. Just click on I accept and click next, agree and here you will see your window information so make sure before doing this please make a backup of your system uh, uh, in case that you are doing something wrong and you can uh, restore it back and this is just your system information so after you make sure that this is correct just click on install and then it will prompt you to install and just click next so this is if you feel free to do net please just go there and do net some back to the developer and here you are finished after you finish you should restart your computer so just click here and click restart so when you come back after restart and this is the thing that you need to do so I just go to my file, so I put it on this top. You need to copy this uh, folder to this. 
same directory so just click extract so after you extract you will find this um, folder with a uh, mini file on it so here is the difference between uh, the update 1607 and 1703 so for me I when I install the UX patch uh, this told me that the 1703 so I I use this 1703 but if you if you when you install the um, the theme patch if you see this number is um, uh, 1607 so you choose you should copy this file but for me is this file is correct for me so just go on it and control C or just right click and choose copy and you go to the, your system drive so for me it's right C and you find the window folders and resource so just press all on your keyboard and go to the resource and now you find the sims so here it seems that I have been copying so just paste it on here if just clicks on paste and then replace for me I do it already so after you're doing this you just go back and you need to install one more file I'm sorry So after you after you install the sim, so just open this font and install it. So we just click on install. So as I installed it already, it, it gave me the warnings. Let's just click refresh and done. So now you get a theme and it should be changed. Uh, if you activate your theme, it should be changed uh, this. But the one more thing that you need to do is the icon pack you remember that you download it from the internet so here is the icon pack so i just extract it here extract it okay so after you extract the icon pack and you see the rename tat so it just uh, instruction for you to rename this file so um which one is, is you like? Uh, if you like the vertex regular, just uh, rename this to EXE and just rename this to EXE because uh, it's a bit of different between style of the look of the icon. <coughs> but mm, sorry, but if you not see the extensions of the file like this, so just go to View and click on Files Name Extension. So it uh, it will show up. So it just re so as you see, file name extension. Okay, so uh, if I want to install this one, so I just rename on it as exe, and it give me a little bit warning, but just press enter or click on yes, and just open it. And um, I installed it already so it asked me to uninstall or to restore the window default icon as I installed it already so it just give me a warning that I want to restore back or I want to restore to the default of the window icon but for you you just click on next next until it finished and then just click on finish or exit and now you're good to go so after you did all those things um, the last thing that you need to do is ch change the theme. So to change the theme, you just type and search by like theme, like this, and then uh, go to theme, and then you can find this theme. So just click on it and activate the theme, and you are good to go. So now you install successfully. A a new theme on your windows and if you feel that it's not your favorite and you just want to uninstall back just do the step as uh, uninstall just uh, change your theme back and uh, click on the ball clicks on the icon pack and then you will be moved back to your original theme so that's all if you feel like uh, this theme you can install it uh, and if you don't like just leave it and for me i just want to try some new things and i think this theme is pretty good and 
it's free. <laughs> Thank you for watching my video and if you feel like this video, please hit the like button and if you don't like, please just hit the dislike button and don't forget to subscribe and leave your comment below about your experience. Thank you.